And welcome back to the vlog and yet another semi-organized gear explosion. I'm uh, getting ready to head down to Utah this afternoon and go meet up with my buddy Brady Miller and photograph a mule deer hunt of his. So for this vlog, I just wanted to dive in and talk about a handful of key pieces of gear that I'll be taking um, for this hunt. I've shot a bunch of vlogs in the past on like my whole like full gear kit. Um, you can definitely reference those if you want a more in-depth look. But for this one, I'm just gonna kind of dive into a handful of items. So let's take a look. Yeah, so first I'll just go over my layering system. The temperature and weather for this hunt. Lows are gonna be in the 20s and 30s, highs in maybe the 50s. So pretty chilly. The weather's gonna be pretty clear though, so no real chance of precip. The pants I'm gonna be running, these are the Sick Ascent pants. They're the lightest weight, most stretchy pants that they make. I'm gonna run the removable knee pads in them. I love knee pads. They just really save my knees. For me as a photographer, they're also great because I'm always dropping down on my knees to get it to kind of unique angles so again just the knee pads really really save your knees so with these i will layer the core lightweight long underwear underneath them and then i'll wear reno core boxers as well and then for when it gets really cold or just at night sitting around camp i will layer the kelvin light pants on the outside for my top base layer, I'll be running the Sika Core Lightweight Hoodie. Then on top of that, I'll run the Sika Kelvin Active Hoodie. And then for when it gets really cold, I'll be running this piece. This is probably the, my favorite uh, piece that Sika makes. Um, this is the Kelvin Down Windstopper Hoodie. It's kind of like wearing a sleeping bag. You know, you throw this thing on, and you can be on the windiest of ridges, and you can just sit there for hours and be warm and comfy. The gloves that I'll be running on this trip, these light ones here, these are the Sika Shooter Gloves. They're super light, they're form-fitting. They're just like a really awesome protective layer. So if we're scrambling up through a bunch of rocks and stuff, these will be the guys that I run. And then for when it gets cold, I'll be running the Sika Blizzard Mitts. These are the warmest gloves that Sika makes. They have a removable liner, Gore-Tex, uh, windproof, waterproof uh, shell. Just super warm. My hands are always getting cold, and so it's really nice to not have cold hands. All right, next up, this is the trekking pole that I pretty much use on every single hunt. Also, sorry for the actual chaos going on in the background. This is not a very cleanly shot video, but whatever. So this is a black diamond carbon fiber whippet. Just a burly little trekking pole with a pick on the front. What I love about this thing is that, you know, if you're side hilling or you're scrambling up through some steep stuff, or if you need to like dig out like a flat spot to pitch your tent, this little pick head works awesome. So, so I'm always reaching up and I'm grabbing onto things and helping pull myself up with it. This is the tent that I'll be using. This is a Z-Pax Pleximid. It's a very roomy one man. It's extremely light. It weighs actually less than a pound and you pitch it with your trekking pole. Because it is so light, it just doesn't have much weight consequence for basically all the nicer weather, as long as there's not gonna be a bunch of wind or a bunch of crazy you know, wet snow or anything. Like this is kind of the tent that I primarily use. So I'll be bringing kind of a whole slew of lenses, but one of my favorite ones that I'm bringing, this is the Sony 50 mil F 1.8. Um, it's super duper light. Again, no real weight consequence to this guy. It allows you to shoot in very low light conditions. You also can just get some really creative background blur. And so, yeah, I bring this one on every single hunt that I go on. This is the headlamp that I run. This is the best headlamp ever. Don't let anyone else convince you otherwise. <laughs> I'm not sponsored to say this either. I just love this thing. This is a Phoenix HL60R headlamp. It uses one bigger battery that you can swap out. You can charge it with a USB cable on the side here, a little micro USB cable. Got a bunch of different light modes. The brightest one is like crazy bright. Um, it also has a red mode. I can get like almost 10 days of use on the, on the one battery that's in here. I always bring a backup battery just in case, but lasts a super long time. It's super duper bright, really, really reliable. And because it charges with USB, it ends up being cheaper down the road instead of having to buy, you know, new sets of batteries always. So I really, really love this headlamp. All right, last up, this is the food that I'm bringing on this trip. Again, I've talked about the food that I bring and a bunch of other vlogs, so I won't go through everything, but a couple of key items, sunflower seeds to help occupy my mind and prevent me from just eating all my food at once. So this is a product called Tailwind. It's like a 200 calorie caffeinated kind of energy boost thing that you add to your water. Basically you drink your calories. These are called DNX bars. This is a grass fed beef bar, completely organic, very healthy meat stick. When you eat a lot of carbs and stuff, your body really, really starts to crave protein and that's where these guys come in. So uh, eating two of these per day and just pretty stoked on them. 
So that was a quick little look into some of the gear that I'll be taking on this hunt. Hope you enjoyed it. I will wrap this vlog up with a sneak peek into the hunt with Brady. So we'll see you next time. I love hunting mule deer. That would be so cool. I wish I could just take this moment, like bottle up all the excitement and emotion, crack it open every single day. This is such a great, great feeling. Thank you, boy.